The first thing that we're going to, uh, again, cover and review, and one thing that you guys will uh, go over again today is plotting points. Yay. So the first thing um, that I want you guys to really understand about plotting points is, so far for linear inequalities, we dealt with graphing on an X, on a X number line. Tiffany, you're not doing exactly what I told you. So you guys remember that when we had this number line, when we were graphing our solutions, to the right we had our positive values. And to the left, we had our negative values. Everybody agree with me? Okay. So that is what we'll just call the x number line, all right, or our x axis in this case. So now what we're simply doing when we're graphing coordinate points is we're going to create a coordinate plane. We're not only having a horizontal axis, we're now going to include a vertical axis. And the vertical axis is what we're going to call the y-axis. It's the exact same thing. It's OK, Jacob. It's the exact same thing, but it's very important for you guys to understand that the x and the y-axis are exact same, just one's horizontal and the one's vertical. So the values going up are positive, and the values going down are going to be negative. And just note that where they intersect is going to be the what we call the origin, or the point 0, 0. All right, so you will be doing this, and I will expect that you guys can go ahead and do this. So make sure that when you guys, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys some coordinate points to go ahead and plot. Now, the important thing about a coordinate point is you need to understand that coordinate point comes in the form of x, y, meaning the value of x on the x-axis is going to come first, then the value of y on the y-axis comes next. Okay. So first thing we hear, we have negative 5. So that's going to tell me to go all the way negative 5 on the x-axis, and then go up to 6 on the y-axis. So I go over negative 5, up 6. Let's label these. A, B, C, D, E. So that's A. For B, I'm going to go my x value is 3. My y value is 2. For C, my x value is 0. That means I'm not going left or right at all. I'm just, but my y value is 4, so I'm going to go up to 4. For d, my x value is negative 2, but my y value is 0. That means I'm not going up or down on the y-axis. So that's going to be d. And let's make this, I didn't do one of these. Let's make this a double negative. Um, so e will be negative 3, so the x value is negative 3, y value is negative 3. Does everybody feel OK with that? I could have given you guys like an algebra one where you plot like a million points and then make like a Christmas tree. But I figured you guys would be bored with that.